Okie doke, so here's how you can set up your basic color separation for a t-shirt design. In essence, you need to build your design in Adobe Illustrator, and that's what I'm in right now. Whatever you do, whatever you set it up, make sure all the vectors are clean exactly the way you want it to be. Also, I just save it as one layer, that's totally fine. Uh, you can do anything that you need. Here's the key. Whatever colors you choose, it needs to be saved as Pantone colors. Remember, if you can't find your Pantones, you can always go to the window, down to Swatch Libraries, <clears throat> and they're under your color books. There we are, color books. Really, any one of these Pantone uh, color books will work out. In general, I just like to use the solid coated uh, simply because those are the, the easiest ones to choose. Also, when you work with a printer, a lot of times they'll want to get that Pantone color number that you're using to use on th for their inks as well. When you do choose a color, so say for instance I use this purple or this orange, notice in your swatches that it will load up these swatches, <coughs> these Pantone swatches into here. So those are the ones with a little dot at the bottom right hand corner. Once you've got your design made, and I just quickly threw together this ugly design, save your file, save as. Um, when I save mine, just for professional practice, I always save it as a PDF or as an EPS file. Uh, this way when I send it to somebody, they can open it up and it'll be okay. And I'll, I'll just save this, I'll call it ugly t-shirt. EPS, hit save. <coughs> If you need to save it as an older version, here's where you can do it here. I'm just going to keep it the same for now. EPS files, in general, can be opened up by any type of vector software, so that's why I use EPS. Here's how to do the actual color separations, and this is going to be done through your printer. We're going to go to Adobe InDesign, and we're going to make just a new document. <clears throat> and I'm going to make it, uh, I think a tabloid is what I had it set up as. Everything else will be the same, say so, okay. And we need to place our artwork that we just created into this document. So I'm gonna grab my frame tool, draw off a frame, then Command D to drop it in. There's our ugly t-shirt, open it, and here it is placed within here. At this time, if you need to move it around or resize it or anything, that's totally fine. Um, but in general, you want to build it to the size that you, uh, you intend to print it off as. To do the color separations, this is a process done in your printer. So we need to go to the print dialog box. Under file, print, <coughs> excuse me. In Illustrator, of course, you can choose different sizes, have different things. So let's choose under setup. I want this to be printed on tabloid size, so it'll be nice and big. Under marks and bleeds, we do want to turn on your registration marks. This is because um, we want your artwork to be able to line itself up once it's printed off. So registration marks are turned on. Under output, this is the, the, the trick part. Where it says color composite CMYK, this is where we choose separations. Down in the bottom, this will allow you to choose what colors you want to be printed off. And we can turn off the CMYK, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. And you can see here's the Pantone colors that we are using, the blue, the reds, the purples, and the oranges. When this prints off, it will print off, in this case, four separate colors. One for blue, one for purple, one for red, and one for orange. But it will print it off completely black, so every area that only uses that color will be printed off as that particular color. Some things to keep in mind uh, is whatever t-shirt color you have, you may want to save that as a Pantone color. And if you're using white, it will not print off white unless you specifically save white as a Pantone color by itself as well. So any type of color that's going to be printed on the shirt needs to be saved or needs to be created as a Pantone color once it's printed. <coughs> So as soon as you've got separations selected, turn on every one that you need. You can then hit print. This will print it off on your uh, whatever printer that you're using. I do recommend printing it off on some what's called vellum paper or some translucent type paper. That's generally what t-shirt printers like to use. 
Uh, and also try to print it off, like I said, the exact size that you want it to be on the t-shirt by itself. All right, I hope this helps you. Let me know if you have any questions.